Hi, this is Alfauzi Anihar from At Home Tuition. Welcome to our session today. This time we cover the topic types and properties of triangles. Let me start with the definition. A triangle is a closed figure made up of three line segments. The triangle consists of three line segments and three angles. In this figure, the sides AB, BC, CA are the three line segments and the angles A, B, C are the three angles. We can divide the triangle into three types based on sides and three based on angles. Let me explain you each of the type one by one. Let us start with types of triangles based on the sides. Based on the sides, we can see three types of triangle. Equilateral triangle, isosceles triangle and scalene triangle. Let me show you one by one with an example. Equilateral triangle, by the name itself, you can say that all the three sides are equal. The triangle having all the three sides of equal length is called as equilateral triangle. A triangle with all the sides equal. So I am going to write an example. Please see that the line segments AB is equal to 2, BC is equal to 2 and AC equal to 2. All the three sides are same. So any triangle with equal sides will be called as equilateral triangle. Since all the sides of the triangle are equal, all the angles will also be equal. Please note that too. Now let us move towards the next type of triangle based on sides. Next one is isosceles triangle. Isosceles is nothing but a triangle having only two sides with equal length. Any triangle with two sides equal and the third side unequal is said to be isosceles triangle. Two angles opposite to the equal sides are equal. So you have to know about the angles too. When you are uh, looking at the sides, you will understand the concept of angles too. Let me draw an example. Here is an example. Did you notice that the sides AB and AC are equal 5 and 5 and the other side, the third side BC is equal to 10. So by looking at the figure itself, you can identify which type of triangle it is. If all the sides are equal, it would be equilateral. If only two sides are equal, that will be considered as isosceles triangle. Two angles opposite to the equal sides will be equal. You have to note down this point too. Now let me show you what is the third type. Third type is scalene triangle. A triangle that has all the three sides with different lengths. That will be considered as scalene triangle. You can take any example for this one. Let me draw one on the board. Please note that these sides AB is equal to 5, AC equal to 6 and BC equal to 8. All the numbers are different. All the measurements are different. So that will be considered as a scalene triangle. So far we have discussed types of triangle based on sides. Now there are three more types. Those types are based on angles. Let me show you one by one. Based on angles means main three types will be acute, obtuse and right angle. Let me start with the first one. Acute angle triangle. A triangle whose all angles are acute. That will be called as acute angle triangle or acute triangle. Acute is nothing but the angle which is lesser than 90 degrees. Am I right? So let me draw one example for your better understanding. Acute means angle lesser than 90. Please look at the three angles. Angle A is 70 which is lesser than 90. 55 lesser than 90. Angle C is 55 which is also lesser than 90. All the three angles in this triangle is lesser than 90. So this will be considered as acute angle triangle. Hope you are clear with this one. Okay. Next type is obtuse angle triangle. Obtuse means angle is greater than 90. Am I right? A triangle whose one angle is obtuse is called obtuse angle triangle. We cannot draw a triangle with all the three sides obtuse. Because if all the three sides are greater than 90, if you add all the three angles, it will not be equal to 180 degrees, which is the main important property of a triangle. So a triangle which has only one angle that is obtuse, only one angle should be greater than 90. The triangle should also satisfy the other condition, sum of all the three angles will be equal to 180 degrees. So let me draw an example based on this one. Here is an example for obtuse angle triangle. We have three angles, 30, 30 and 120. Uh, 30, 30 are lesser than 90 
and please note that one of the angle is 120 degrees which is greater than 90 it means it is an obtuse angle triangle does this make sense to you okay cool now let's move on to the third type third type is right angle triangle a triangle whose one angle is right angle is called as right angle triangle or right triangle right means a perfectly perpendicular one let me draw an example please look at this example the line the line or the side ab is perfectly perpendicular to bc if you divide a straight angle into equal halves you'll be getting 90 degrees am i right this is called right angle if any line intersects or meets the other line perpendicularly, the angle made is will be equal to 90 degrees. Same as the previous type. All the three angles cannot be equal to 90 degrees. You cannot draw any angle, any triangle with all three angles 90 degrees. Because if you add all these three, you will not be getting 180. It will be more than 180. So, only one of the triangle, only one of the angle in that triangle will be equal to 90 degrees. Hope you are clear with this type. So, these are the six types of triangle based on sides and based on angles. Let me draw that as a chart. Here is a chart for your quick glance. The angles are divided based on sides and based on angles. Based on sides, we see three types of triangle, equilateral, isosceles and scalene. Based on angles, acute angles, obtuse angles and right angle. Equilateral means all these sides will be equal. Isosceles, only two sides will be equal. And scalene means all the three sides will be different. No equal sides. Same way, based on the angles, acute angled. All the three angles will be lesser than 90 degrees called acute angle. An obtuse angle means any one of the angle will be greater than 90 degrees. And right angle triangle is only one of the angles. Among the three angles in a triangle, one will be equal to 90 degrees. Hope you are clear with this chart. When we deal with these types of triangle, particularly right angle, Pythagoras theorem will be helpful for you to identify any right angle triangle. Let me explain you that concept. Please look at the figure on the board, the side opposite to the right angle. BC is called the hypotenuse. The longest side of the triangle will be called as hypotenuse. For a right triangle ABC, I'll write a formula. For a right triangle, the longest side, that is the hypotenuse square, BC square will be equal to sum of the squares of the other two sides, the shortest side and the second shortest side. This is called Pythagoras theorem. So in the triangle, in this triangle, let me apply the Pythagoras theorem. Longest side is BC, the measurement given is 5. Shortest side is AB, measurement given is 3. Second shortest side is 4, AC. Let me work out the squares. On the left side, I am getting 25. 3 square is 9, 4 square is 16. If I add these two, I will be getting 25. The given triangle satisfies this Pythagoras theorem. So this is obviously a right triangle, tri right triangle triangle. Hence, the Pythagoras theorem helps to find whether a triangle is a right angle or not. This is called Pythagorean theorem. Pythagoras theorem is nothing but the longest side the whole square will be equal to sum of the squares of the shortest side and second shortest side. Hope you are clear with this theorem. This theorem will be helpful to identify whether the triangle is a right angle or not. If this condition is not satisfied, the triangle is not a right triangle. There are different types of right triangles. As of now, our focus is only on a special pair of right triangles. That is 45, 45, 90 and 30, 60, 90. 45, 45, 90. As the name indicates, is a right triangle because one of the angle is 90 in which the other two angles are 45 each. This is also a isosceles right triangle because two sides will be equal because of the two angles are equal. 45, 45, 90. Two of the angles are equal. So the opposite sides will be equal. These two legs will be of equal length. So this is also called as isosceles right triangle. Okay, now let us move on to the next type. 30, 60 and 70, 90 I am sorry. A 30, 60, 90 triangle as the name indicates is a right triangle in which the other two angles are 30 and 60 degrees. Please note that all the three angles are different. So obviously 
the sides will also be of a different length so this is called a scalenoid triangle as none of the sides or angles are equal the side ratio for 45 45 90 triangle are in the ratio 1 is to 1 is to root 2 same way the side ratio for 30 16 90 triangle would be 1 is to root 3 is to 2 so these are the main important types of triangles based on the angles and sides let us discuss the basic properties of triangles and problems based on that in our next session hope you are clear with this topic